well, we warned you before, three-time equestrian Olympic medalist Shane Rose is now potentially in doubt for the Paris Olympics after being stood down for a stunt gone wrong, in some people's view, at an event last weekend. Now, Rose took part in a fancy dress event wearing a mankini. Now, the 50-year-old who has won bronze and two silver Olympic medals on his resume was stood down after a complaint was made with Equestrian Australia and even Sport Integrity Australia. Joining me now is Shane Rose himself. Shane, great to have you on the program. First of all, were you comfortable in the mankini? Any regrets? Uh, no, it's not a comfortable. Um, it's not a comfortable piece of equipment, unfortunately. Um, oh, look, I I, uh, I went into the competition as a, a fun competition. I, I had no intention of offending anyone. Um, it's a dress-up competition that um, people have worn um, bikinis before, and, and I just thought it'd be quite funny to come along in a mankini. Um, unfortunately, somebody took offence, and and therefore Equestrian Australia have had to um, make an investigation. And right. part of the process, I, I need to be stood down whilst that's happening. So, uh, so who was offended? Do you know? Uh, I don't know that. that unfortunately, well, the, the lady who um, who made the complaint that is. I'm not allowed to know who that was. Um, Righto. Unfortunately, I don't know, but uh, I think there's one person in the world that's complained so far. Um, <laughs> I've had a lot of support, so hopefully uh, there, there'll be a quick outcome and, and hopefully uh, it, it's not too detrimental to my preparations for Paris. Where do you even get a mankini these days? Um, my wife got it for me, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, I told her that I was, I was planning on dressing up as a friend who... Um, He's a Greek man with a lot of hair, and he says he's worn a mankini out to, um, you know, a few parties as a, as a bit of a joke. And I, so I, I, I got a hairy suit and, and put the mankini over the top of it, and felt that it's a bit unfair if I impersonate someone if I can't do it myself. And so I did, I did, and had a go, and and uh, thought it was a bit of fun, and unfortunately um, offended someone in the process. And uh, I'm sorry if if I've done that, but it wasn't my intention, obviously. Shane, why are you saying sorry? You've offended one person. Uh, look, I, I don't think... I mean, I didn't mean to offend someone. If I offended someone, that, that's why I'm apologising to them. But like you say, I don't think I've, I've done anything particularly um, bad. It's, it's not an illegal piece of clothing. Um, you'll see it anywhere on the beach or, or a, you know, <laughs> theme parks around the country. Um, potentially not on a horse very often, but, um, <laughs> yeah, that, that's where it's, uh, you know, it's come from. Shane, do you think if you wore it down Bondi Beach, you would have had the same kind of complaints? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Um, although I probably stand out fairly well down at Bondi Beach. I've got a proper farmer's tan and uh, a few lines, and, and the locals might not have appreciated it, but... Uh, <laughs> I think it wouldn't have caused quite the stir that it did if I then I was at the competition. Uh, most seriously, I know there's uh, an investigation. It all sounds very serious and formal. It's really quite disappointing that one person um, can do this uh, and potentially hold up your career. How seriously do you think your Paris Olympics venture is in doubt? Oh, look, I, I hope... I hope common sense prevails. Like you say, I, I don't think many people have found it overly offensive. So I think if common sense prevails, hopefully, you know, we can move on fairly quickly and, and carry on with our preparations. But whilst, it, whilst it's hanging over your head, you know, there's, there's no guarantees that, that things are going to turn out positively. But uh, hopefully with a bit of common sense and uh, I'll get a result in the next few days. Yeah, OK, good. Well, please keep us posted because we have a lot of interested people watching today. Now, uh, I guess the, you know, fancy dress days in equestrian might be over because of this, but maybe next time um, you could go and drag and not get cancelled, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, like you say, um, yeah, I, it's a shame if, if such an incident as this does um, hold up the event. It's, it's a great fun day. A lot of people have a bit of fun. Uh, it's the first... Uh, competition for the the event. There's an unofficial mm. class that that this class is it just just to get everyone out and and started for you know preparation for the the busy year ahead. So <laughs> it's a bit of fun and hopefully it can continue for people in the in the years to come. Yep. Yeah, uh, look, I think it continues and hopefully you get a uh, a result a positive one in the next couple of days. I love your wife too. She's certainly got a great sense of humour and yeah. backs you in yeah. that you've still got the rig yeah. to wear it. 
Yeah, no, she, she's a cracker. I'm very lucky to have her. Well, she's awesome. Thanks so much and good luck to you, Shane. Thanks very much.